Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? I just unboxed and assembled my Bacant IKEA desk. Um, it's awesome. It's great. Super solid. Pretty damn sturdy. Um, now, I got this little piece for the very top back of this desk to put up here, and it's called like an Alex or something, something or other. I'll put, I'll put the name of it in the title. Um, but I'm gonna unbox this and assemble this and show you how to use this as well. This is probably the coolest little hack you can do for your IKEA desk. Okay, we got, whoop, we got like actual wood there. We got some cardboard. Don't need that. That was a good throw. Some more cardboard filler stuff. Don't need that. Here's a box full of like hardware and holy crap, that's a lot of stuff for this little thing. And there's four little sliders here. Okay, yeah, it's the IKEA Alex. 120 by 10 centimeters. Why are those so... Look like they're about to... That's kind of weird. Okay. Put all this stuff back here. There we go. More bendy wood. So I'm going to use this, the instruction manual, but I'm going to cut those parts out where I'm using it to where it looks just like a one fluid DIY tutorial on how to put this together. So you can just watch the video and put it together as I'm putting it together. Okay, so these weird pieces right here, they are drawers and they fold from this to that like that. And you're gonna take one of these flat pieces of whatever this is and you're gonna slide it in there like that. Look, I'm a cabinet maker. Okay, now we're gonna have to dig into our little bag of hardware here. We're gonna get four of these things, one for each side of each drawer. We're gonna use our Power drill. We're gonna drill this sucker right into there. Just like that. We're gonna drill one into this side as well. I'm gonna kinda start the hole with my finger first. Get it kinda somewhat in there. Like that. We kinda wanna get it as straight as we can. Up and down straight, like that. Whereas this back one's a little bit crooked if you can't tell. That one's crooked too. I'm not very good at this. This goes onto there. Guys, I almost forgot. We gotta put one of these in each side like this and that before we put it in. And then we can put it in. Boom, there we go. Much better. Put those, these little guide rods in there. Remember to line up the line with this line. Just like that. And line this little line up. Get it all the way in. Like that. We're looking good so far, guys. Okay, so there's this really clever little system in here. If you, if you see the little bolt sticking through, this Right here is a little Phillips thing. You push it in there and when you spin it, this little part catches this bolt and then pulls it out. So you put it in this side open face like that. I'm just gonna use a regular screwdriver for this and then it should, yeah, it pulls it in like that. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing for this side. I'm gonna put that in there. And we're gonna, tight, we're gonna tighten it and you see it tightening the, the uh, the, desk, the cabinet as well. Okay, we're gonna put this one in now. Hand screw it tight, just like that. And when, when it's finished, the arrow right here will be pointing backwards, like that. That's how you know you've tightened it all the way. Okay, same thing with this. Arrow back, just like that, there we go. Okay, we're gonna put these to the side for a minute. Now we'll be using our sliders here. And these. There's gonna be four of these. And four of these. Okay, you're gonna take your slider, you're gonna extend it like this. The arrow's gonna to point to these three holes like that. And when, you're when your arrow's pointing to these three holes, you're gonna lay it down and put the middle hole on this hole right here. The arrow's gonna to be towards the side of this little ridge, like that. So that's gonna be like that. This arrow, we're gonna extend it this way. It's gonna lay just like that, just like that. So same for this, it's just gonna be backwards when you have these set like this. 
you're just going to be backwards. You're going to extend it out. Your arrow is pointing to your holes. Middle hole right there. Arrow extended out, pointing at the three holes. Middle hole right there. Okay. Now we're going to use these little screws right here. Four of them. We're going to put one in each little hole. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use a drill. You're just going to screw those in. Don't screw them in all the way tight. That way you have some flexibility like this when you're going to screw this last hole in. Okay, so now, so now you're going to take this and you're going to slide it in like this. You're going to slide that in and you'll have right in the middle hole another hole right there. You use four of those same screws. You're going to screw those in. Scoot these back a little bit. We're gonna move these forward. Push those in like that. I'm gonna hand tighten everything with a hand screwdriver. Now these are done, we're gonna set them back. Okay, and now we got the piece de resistance out. Cardboard, get out of here. Flip it over to where the holes are facing up. Okay, so now we're gonna take the rest of these and screw them into the eight holes. Not these middle ones, not the middle big ones, but the smaller ones on the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now we're going to take our shelves. There's two facing one way, two facing another. We're gonna take one of each. So we're gonna take these two out. We're gonna use these two. And we're gonna line up this line right here with these lines and these holes in the bottom are gonna go right on here like this. Crap, almost forgot these little wood pegs. You gotta put one in the middle right there on each one. Just to make things easier on yourself so you don't have to undo it and go back and do it. There we go. Oh, it might be a little farther, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna line up that peg and these holes like that. So we'll go like that, push everything in. Like that. And this one is gonna go right here, just like that, on the opposite side. We're gonna move to the other side over here and do the same exact thing. What I found out is if you just put them in this side, it's gonna work better. So take your wooden pieces out, put them in there. It'll help a little bit. With the guiding process, I'm going to take this, put it in there like that. I'm going to take this, put it in here like that. All right, and boom, and that's the main piece right there. Now we're going to do the same things. We're going to do the same thing with these big things right here. See the little bolt sticking through like that? We're going to stick one in here like this. We're going to have the open side on the bottom. I'm going to put it in there like that. And then notice the arrow says to twist clockwise. So we're gonna twist that in, like that, all the way, like that. And that's gonna squeeze this together. We're gonna do the same thing with this one over here. Like that, we got it. We're gonna do that for the inside of each one of these, so there's gonna be a total of eight of these to do. I'm gonna do these all real quick. Okay, so we flipped it upside down. We have these little grooves here. On the back, we have these this whole groove right here. Also right there. So that's where we're gonna put these in at, these little, little slivers of cardboard. We go in just like that, all the way. Just like that. Okay, we're gonna extend these out like this, and like that. And we're gonna turn our cabinets upside down here, our drawers, and we're going to work these into there, like that. We need to get them all the way onto this slider right here, just like that. There we go. Now the door is going to slide in and out like that. Tilt it up like this so you guys can get a better um, view of what I'm talking about. So these need to go all the way up to 
so they're perpendicular. These sliders need to go line up with this. So we're going to get them in all the way like this, and we're going to keep pressure on them as we put the. I'm going to keep pushing them up until they line up with the uh, drawer like that. Okay, now let's flip it over like this. You're going to take these short screws right here, and on the inside of each part, there's going to be a little hole like this. You're going to screw this through there into the slider part of the. Once again, I'm going to cheat and use the drill. Like that. Right now the drawer is locked in like that and it's good to go. So do the other same thing for this side over here. Boom, just like that. All right guys, and there you have it. That is the IKEA Alex desktop setup. This is what it looks like when it's finalized. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys decide to pick it up and try it out for yourselves. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.